Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my Kiki K planner. Now I spent um, all week making this planner so basically I took out all the inserts and I re recreated it with all my stationery supplies so it now holds all my stationery supplies inside. So as you can see along here, I've got all these really cute stationary bits and pieces. So I've put all my little favourite um, items in here. And I've sort of matched it based on colour. So I've sort of put all the, the pastel ones, um, like pastel paper crafts in here. Because I really wanted this to be a theme full of lots of pastel crafts. So as you can see, I've got things like little envelopes. These are all little things that you guys have given me. So... I now have a spot to store them and then when I take things out of this little pocket here, I can then re-put some more stuff back in. And I've got little things in this little slot here too. So these beautiful uh, memo pads. So it's just a place where I can now store all my stationary bits and pieces. And I really liked this idea because I had all my things slotted in envelopes. I put them in little drawers here and there. So now I've got all my favourites in this book here. And I can re putting, I can put things in here all the time when I take things out. So this is going to be my new go-to stationery folder. And I think it's really cute. So I've included my own stickers on top. So these, these pages here were already in the planner. Um, but I pretty much decorated them. Now I made this little page myself. As you can see, it's got hole punches. And I just decorated it with little craft designs here and up the top here. Um, and I've put like a little slit here so it, it can easily get stuff out. Um, and basically I'm keeping like all my cards and postcards that I like in here. Um, I got these beautiful Totoro ones in the mail the other day. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. So I've got my favourite postcards. Little Christmas card. Yeah, I'm keeping my favourites in here so I know where they are at all times, so they're not all over the place. And as you can see, I decorated this pocket as well. Basically, I just put two of these scrap pages here, this beautiful washi tape, um, and this little girl on the front. So I'm really liking this design. Now, this page is, was actually from a pen pal flipbook. So it had lots of stationary bits and pieces in it, and she sent it to me in the mail. I can't remember who it was, but I thought it was absolutely beautiful, and I thought I was going to resend it to a, um, a pen pal. But basically I kept it for myself and it has all these cute pockets so I put all my favourite stickers and washi tape in these pockets. Bits and pieces that I can reuse. So I just thought it was such a good way of kind of showing my stationery. So when I'm looking for things that are all kind of on display and I know where they are. And I didn't have a hole punch so <laughs> I actually just did this with scissors here. So it's actually really tough to open and close but I'm hoping that gets easier that these holes will get bigger as I open them. Now some of the pages I did keep plain, but I did change the, the little tabs here. So I put these little cute puffy stickers. They're from Kiki K. And before that there was words there, so I've just changed that. So sometimes there are little blank ones. This pocket actually came with the planner. So it's just this blue cardboard pocket and basically I keep some scrap papers in there. I'll probably fill that out a lot more. And here I've got these, they're the rub-on stickers. So these are the bits and pieces that I actually got from my favourite like, stationery brands. So Frenard, so I love her stickers. I haven't actually used them that yet. I can't wait to use them. And these are so beautiful and I can't wait to use those ones. So I've got my favourite um, stickers in here. So I can't wait to use these ones. I also made this little pocket here. So this is just some packaging here. And I put a whole bunch of stickers inside. So this is so packed out. But I kept losing these. And then I just did a little collage on top. And this little bee is from the bee community. So she's a friend that I met at film school. Her Instagram is called the bee community. And you can grab her stickers if you like hers. But I absolutely love her stickers. So I had to do like a little promo. <laughs> and I stuck it on. I stuck just a page onto this cardboard. Because it was a bit flimsy. The paper. So now it's a lot more sturdier. This next one here has lots of tags and bits and bops. So I've got some really thin washi tape, some washi samples, some bits and pieces, um, some envelopes, some stickers, some tags. It's just got lots of little bits and pieces that I didn't fit anywhere else. So these ones are pretty much just stickers. These ones are things I've bought online. And then these ones are like my favourites and those postcards. So I've kind of got a spot for everything. 
Um, oh, and this is Sha oh, I can't remember her name. She's a YouTuber. Um, Shay Shay Shayna Shay Cheyenne Cheyenne. I think Cheyenne. Oh, I can't remember her name. I'm pretty sure it's Cheyenne. She's the YouTuber that does designs from. I'm pretty sure she lives in Seattle, but I love her stickers, and I had to showcase them because they're absolutely beautiful. So I put her as one of my feature stickers. <laughs> Um, these are the Alice in Wonderland stickers that I got in the mail last time. Now, I didn't know what to do with them and I didn't want to lose them in a box or a drawer somewhere, so that's why I popped them here. And it's really good because I can open them up like this and then when I use them all, I can put more stickers inside. So, I've used all the packaging as little pockets. Now, this is another sticker. I'm pretty sure this is Project Cubic stickers. Um... I've mentioned their stuff all over my Instagram, so if you want to look at the other sticker girls I have, I've either put it in my description box below in other videos, or I've tagged her in YouTube, I mean on Instagram plenty of times. And as you can see, I've got little stickers here. This is a little kettle. I thought it was so cute. Here is just some more little bits and bobs. So I've got a whole bunch of stuff in this flap, and this is a little see-through plastic baggie. Well, not plastic, but... So I've just got lots of little things. So these are the stickers I used for... Let me see if this ends in focus. So these are the stickers I used for the side tabs. As you can see, I've used lots of them. Um, and they're just little bits of cutouts as well, paper cutouts that I wanted to use. Um, and some sticker pads that I've already used. So I just thought that looked really cute there. And then if I have any more little paper cutouts that I really like, I can pop it in this little pocket here. Oh no, it's not going to go in now. Go in! Oh, that took a while. Oh no, the sticker's gone. Where did the sticker go? It was holding it down. It's in there now. I'll have to find a new little sticker for that. Oh well. So this little pocket also has some goodies in it. I think it's got some more stamps. Um, I actually got this little pocket from an Instagrammer, so they wrapped their goodies in this little pocket. Oh no, there's my sticker. I found it. Yay. Um, this is a cutout from, I think, Flo. I got sent that in the mail. This beautiful postcard was made for me and I wanted to display it somewhere because I wanted to display some of the, the beautiful designs that you guys make for me. Look how beautiful this watercolour postcard is. I absolutely love it. And it's on a plastic backing so I can take it in and out if I want to change it any time. But I just love, love, love that printer. I wanted to display it somewhere so I thought it would be a perfect place to display it. Now this back page, I really wanted to display Vivian from the Paper Letter Blogs Little Tea little teapot, what do you call that, like creation, <laughs> I don't know. So I wanted to put it somewhere so I popped it on the back here, I was gonna like put it as a little bookmark or something hanging over um, to fall out on the outside, if that made sense, but basically I just thought well I want to display it somewhere so I'll stick it down here, then I st stuck down a few little bits and pieces to try to make a little collage above this mailbox, so I thought that was a cute little way to finish it off. So yeah, and you can see that I've done a little bit of washi tape at the back here and you can see the pin comes out the back so that is my planner and it has full of all my amazing stationary bits and pieces that I've collected over the years that you guys have given me um, and also things that you've created for me like this beautiful pocket here and also the postcard on the back and I really really like it so now I have all my stationary bits and pieces in one place so um, if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up Share it to another stationary lover if you also have stationary lover friends. <laughs> I hope you have a lovely day. It's actually Australia Day today here in Sydney. So I'm going to go out and have a barbecue with my friends, have a few drinks, maybe even a cocktail or few. <laughs> I hope you have a lovely weekend and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.